So far we've developed the idea of a derivative of a function at a particular value. And in this video what we're going to do is extend that idea and create the derivative function. But first let's recall what it means again to be the derivative at a particular value. So for a fixed x equal to a, so here's a fixed a value, then f prime of a is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. And remember, this produced a number if that limit existed. And graphically, what it represented was the slope of the tangent line to the function at a. Okay, so it gave us a number. Well, let me ask, pose this question to you. If I had this particular function, f of x equals 5x minus 9x squared, and I asked you to find the following, f prime of 1, f prime of 2, f prime of 3, f prime of 4, then what you would need to do is apply this formula that we just wrote over here four different times, each for a different value that I've chosen for a. So I would look at f prime of 1 as being the limit as h goes to 0. So f prime of 1 would be the limit as h goes to 0 of f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 all over h. And then I would have to if I wanted to find f prime of 2, I would have to look at a new limit. The limit as h goes to 0, f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 all over h. And if I wanted you to keep going to find the derivative of f at 3 or 4 or any other value, I would have to keep taking that limit. Well, what would be nice is if I only had to take that limit once. So we do, let's sit, not fix our x value being a, and let's define um, this function, the following function, as the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now instead of having a particular a value in there where this produces a number, this actually is going to produce a function. And once we have that function, we can then input 1, 2, 3, and 4 into this function after we've taken the limit just once. Okay, and this is our derivative function. Alright, now let's look at an example. Well, let's look at this example right here, the one that I have up here. Let's find the derivative function for f of x equals 5x minus 9x squared. All right, so I'm going to rewrite my function up here, f of x equals 5x minus 9x squared. So recall f prime of x is the limit as h goes to 0 of, now I'm going to replace um, x plus h in for my x's, right? So let me write this down really quick just so y'all see clearly what gets replaced where. So this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0. So here's my function except I'm going to replace x plus h. So 5 times x plus h minus 9 times x plus h squared minus, now be careful, put this in parentheses because you're subtracting this entire function, 5x minus 9x squared. So here, that is my f of x plus h, and here, that is my f of x, okay? And we're going to take all this and divide it by h. Now before I take the limit, and if I were to try to plug in um, h right now, I would get 0 over 0, and that tells you you need to do more work, so we're going to do some algebraic simplification. All right, so we're going to take the limit as h goes to 0, 5x plus 5h minus 
9 times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 5x plus 9x squared. I distribute that negative all over h. Remember when watching these videos, if at any point you want to pause it and look at what I've done, please do so. All right, so now I need to simplify even further. So this is the limit as h goes to 0. 5x plus 5h minus 9x squared minus 18xh minus 9h squared minus 5x plus 9x squared all over h. All right, let's combine like terms and look what happens here. I'm going to use a different color so you, you can see clearly. The 5x's cancel. The 9x squareds cancel. And I think that's it. So I'm left with a 5h minus 18xh minus 9h squared all over h. And if you notice, the remaining terms all have a factor of h. So I'm going to factor that out, or factor out a factor of h. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of h times 5, pulled out the h there, minus. 18x minus 9h all over h. Now I'm able to cancel those h's and I'm ready for direct substitution. So this goes off to 0 and I'm left with 5 minus 18x. So this right here is my derivative function. And now I can easily answer the questions I asked at the beginning. f prime of 1 is 5 minus 18 or negative 13. Easy. f prime of 2 is 5 minus 18 times 2, which is 36, so minus 31. Let's just do one more for good measure to see how wonderful it is that we only had to take the limit one time. This is 5 minus 4, 2, 54, which is negative 49. Now these were easy to calculate after I had evaluated the derivative function. Now go practice.